Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that uh, spot bot. Minus 10. It's getting chilly. There wasn't enough cords for me to plug in. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go out here west and grab a load just outside of Rocky House. Actually, I think I know where it is. Loaded a hoe out there, but we're gonna grab a skidded poop shack. It's a real poopy load. Should be clean. Hopefully. Then we gotta take that out to the Repsol, which is just, what is it, that would be west? west of Etz in about, I don't know, 5k and then you gotta go south, south a bunch. I haven't really looked at dispatch yet, I haven't been in the shop yet, just showed up here, fire up the truck, get that a warming, you know, like an hour before I'm leaving the shop here, so it'll be nice and toasty. Nobody likes cold truck. So this is like a toilet unit. Like I said, it's a poopy load. 
Oh, it's got dirt all over the skid. Great. <clears throat> I'm frozen. Didn't anticipate it was going to be that long, so now I got a scissor flat. to do it the long educated way I guess. Winch back in, put it down on its legs. It's winter for you.
it's not the best way to start the morning, but there must have been some there because I even had to drop it a little bit to get it to go down all the way, so <sighs> the joy's the winner. Right, let's give this a shot. Oh, I forgot to write in my log. Oops. You're gonna get the cord in your face. I got nothing really magnetic, that kind of sucks. I got the gauge for the front airbags is the only metal thing I got in this console is all aluminum, so. Problem with the 360 camera, if it falls, the lens is like a bubble and it's the only thing that sticks up from the camera, so. Good chances that that falls, something's gonna break or get scratched. So that was a bit of a pain in the ass. The joys of winter, like I said already. Yeah. I even put my camera on the back of the truck and I dropped, dropped the little lens filter down in between the winch. Couldn't find that for like two minutes. Trailer ABS is already on again. I guess they didn't look at that. Didn't get that fixed. <sighs> the downfall is now I don't get to know what time it is. Just that the ABS lights on and that's it. Looks like you can go straight ahead on the Beaver Flats is paved. Maybe I could have took that all the way over to Tulum. Oh well. That's right, Cummins Tower. Oh no, there's snow all over the roof with a piece of equipment. It's snowing behind my truck pretty heavily. Oh well. Hopefully there's not a big chunk of ice up there. There's no ladder, so I'm not climbing up there. Just have to go real fast. That's not good, there's a cop already. <laughs> no, the snow's not blowing that bad now. Good, it was dry and fluffy, it blew right off right away. Alright. If I get pulled over, I'll be back, but if not, see you when we get to the other end.
looks like I'm just gonna load up the trailer I left here. What was that last week? Take it back home, and then I guess we got some rail stuff to do tomorrow. I guess I don't know. I'm kind of out of the loop, but I know this trailer's got to come home with me. Like, yeah, you gotta load your trailer. Just, just gone. Off. <laughs> that sounds about like. Yeah, now I know. How to override? Well, that too, yeah. Oh. Oh, now you don't. No. It took you a while, huh? <laughs> That's blue. Wrong one. You need to lift it. Oh yeah, uh, probably hit right about here where it yeah. comes up. case of the Mondays today. Shoot. So, taking my stuff up to the rig, everything went fine, minus couldn't get my trailer to scissor flat this morning, but other than that, we were supposed to go and do some other stuff, but uh, the, the service rig, uh, I think, was stuck in the hole. We were supposed to do some husky work somewhere out there in Edson and go grab loads from the surrounding area. But I misunderstood the boss. He's like, grab the that rail trailer that I left there last week. I misinterpreted. I double decked it. Meanwhile, he's trying to phone me. Phone's in the truck. <laughs> double decked it. Get it all chained. Cody helped me chain it all down. And then, uh, the Edson manager comes out with lads on the phone. Boss is on the phone. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, what now? He's like, I didn't want you to double deck those. I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. He's like, I just wanted you to grab the trailer. I'm like, ah. Oh. So slowly, slowly losing every piece is moving to Edson here by the looks of it. We still got lots of, we got enough what we need here, but that red trailer that I left there is the one I usually pull behind the Texas bed. The other trailer that they bought for the Texas bed doesn't even have uh, the flashy lights on the back. It's got it's got the th six tail lights, so it's got room to get it in there. It just you gotta get it in there, so that's just another thing. It's, then it's got these stupid ears for a neck extension on it, which isn't the end of the world, but basically the same trailer but set up for to pull with a jeep so and it doesn't have the flashy flashes and it's probably had a harder life that red trailer is like probably the newest trailer we almost got here but whatever I was supposed to be stuck in Edson for a couple days and I'm home the same day so it is what it is now I'll just go home tomorrow Gonna go move some rail in Calgary, in the heart of Calgary. And we're taking that to Bruderheim. So that'll be not my favorite kind of work, city work. Ugh. 
Works work though, you know it. Gotta do what you gotta do, so. Signing off! Number three of the bats. Like I said before, I think it was an old Domart truck. I could be wrong, but what's the color? Let's stop in here, talk to dispatch, see what's going on. We're supposed to have some stuff going on here. I'll take this for a, for a rip. Decent unit, missing a couple gauges, and I don't see a two speed. Oh, what is it with people building trucks without auxiliaries? Maybe it was back there, but nope. Maybe it's back here. Nope. No two speed. Probably got 430 gears as well. Oh, maybe it's hidden somewhere I can't see, but. Decent. Paint's good. I think it's probably been repainted. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. This is the tall tale. Used to work in a body shop for a while. You can see overlap on the, on the rubber because they didn't take the door apart, pull the rubber out and mask the back, mask the paper of the window in. So you end up with that. But I guess you want to save money. 
Z901. This is supposed to be an eight, maybe at one time. Hit me up in the comments if you know where it might have came from. Like I said before, I think it's Domart. It's obviously a Lennox rig up because it's the same bullshit. Well, it's not bullshit, but the way they crease all their fucking stainless, which that's yeah, all right. It adds rigidity. It's a pain in the ass to polish though. No, I don't have to polish because somebody polished my truck with Ajax and water and just fucked everything. It's definitely a short little guy. If I probably pulled up, probably look at it, it's probably just as short as my tri drive truck. That's steer to steer right there, so he's got like a foot and a bit more than me. So. And then it's a little heavier on the steers. The Texas bed would probably outdo it. I know my road train one was because it's, it had the bumper. It was heavy up front. This looks like a pretty light deck. Freaking low. It's almost as low as my fenders on my tractor. But I think Domart only specialized in doing like uh, 400s and stuff. Short little stack mats, kind of like total. Just a bunch of little rental stuff. <laughs> 